Got it. And when trying to, I want to shift to now working with the salespeople. Mm -hmm. So do you have any tips on how you can build that relationship while still getting them to do the stuff that you kind of need them to do? Good question. Um, I would say the biggest thing is, I would say the biggest thing is get their buy-in. Without with, without their buy-in, you're uh, without their buy-in, you're not going to get far. Uh, the issue with data quality is even the reports around it can be reductionistic, right? In a way where a bird's eye view may not suffice to actually tell you what what are the incomings and outgoings of your system in your systems. So you uh, you can't just say, hey, this field needs to be filled versus you know you need to put this in that field. Otherwise, you're just micromanaging across the board. The, the importance of data quality for the organization it really is fundamental to the salespeople themselves, right? It helps them great, gain greater visibility into their perform into their performance and the organize and the organization's performance as a whole, right? Or what's important to the organization to be able to successfully execute as a whole, if you will. And it's by aggregating these insights and leveraging them to inform the sales team, where you can really see them be more bought into the process, and that's that's super important simply because there's a hesitancy to actually run these functions. There's typically a disparity between what do I need in order to actually close this deal versus what do I need in order for management to get off my back? The more that you can merge these objectives together, right? The better, the, the better off you are as it pertains to data quality specifically.